Welcome to Learn New Technology. Now we are going to see how to create ALU report for N unit framework with C sharp. N unit is a unit testing framework for .NET application. So here I have given my GitHub link so you can get the code from there and record package is also I have given here and now we need to create a new project so let's click on create a new project now then we need to select any unit test project .NET core then we need to give the project name so let's give the project name now So let's click on create. So project is now created. So the record packages list also I have given. So automatically three packages will be loaded. So remaining one, there is one more package that is can you need allure so that we can download it through package manager so here we need to type on any unit allure so we'll get it then we need to select then click on install so click on ok so it will be automatically installed So next we need to create two folders, one is allo results, another one is allo report in project folder. So we need to go to our project folder and uh, select option as add for create new folder. So let's give the name as allo results. Then select our project, then create one more folder. So let's give the name as Hello Report. So here in this folder, the report will be generated. So next, we need to create uh, two files. There is one is Hello Config, and another one is Categories. So these files to be we need to create in uh, under bin folder, then debug folder, then netcore app 3.1 folder. So here we need to create those two files. So let's create a file one by one. Let's name it as uh, categories dot json. Let's click on yes, then next uh, let's create uh, another for another file that is so here we need to before that we need to include the uh, statement. So this content everything I have given in my notes, you can get it from GitHub. So this notes files also you can get it from there. So here we can add it the next file alert config.json file we need to add so let's create it now so we need to select the option as the next so give the name as then we need to include the statement here that is also I have given the in the uh, notes you can get it from there Let's copy it and paste it there and save it. So here we need to give the hello results folder. So let's get the path. So once we update it, we need to give the double slash in between each folder. For that we are updating it now. 
So it's been updated. So let's save it and uh, close it. Next, we need to make sure. So just know what we did. So here we have two files. So we have confirmed. Then we need to go to PowerShell. So where we need to install these two queries. So let's copy it now. So we have landed in Windows PowerShell. So here we need to enter it. Then very first we need to enter it. Next time onwards it will not require to enter. So I have already did. So you have to do that. Then next we need to install Allure through Scoop. So copy it then hit enter key. So I have already installed. Then I have given the script also in the notes. You can get it from there. So let's copy these packages, package name. Then include it in the very beginning. Then these are the annotations. So let's include it. So here, uh, these are the test cases. So every test case above, we have the statements. So I'll give you the details about in detail. So we have pasted it, what we have copied. So here it uh, mentioned about uh, suit, the test case name. So the uh, uh, method, so here we can mention our test case name. So for demo purpose, I have given us a method. So I have noted it as the test case name. Then copy, uh, select our project folder. So it's been comp started compiling. So let's go to test explorer. So before that, let's verify it in our results folder. We don't have any files. So once we run our test, we'll get the files there. So I think we have some error. Let's, uh, let's uh, correct it. Oh, I think uh, we have done some mistake. Let's go to JSON file. So here, uh, hello config file. So let's get into that file. I think we forgot to include one more double slash. So let's verify. Oh, we have. We need to add it there. Let's say we unclose it. Then we'll decompile it. Then turn the code again. So we got the result. So method to pass. So let's verify it. A result folder will be having files. So based upon these files, we'll get the report. So let's go to PowerShell. So here we need to type allure serve. Then we need to give the allure results folder path. So the report is going to generate now. So the report is generated. 
So out of three test case, two pass, one fail. So we got the result. So method three pass. This is what we'll be getting the output. This is a test fixture, sort of the attribute. It tells about it contains unit test. Next, allure any unit. It's sort of the attribute. It tells about you are going to use allure. So in description, we have given about the test case. The next allure tag. So here we can give whatever we have, we have given. It will be reflected in the report. The next severity level, either we can give create a critical major minor based upon our requirement. Next, uh, the buck ID. Next, uh, alert TMS. So, once the report is generated, we can integrate with the external system. Next, uh, the person who has uh, done the script, we can give the name. Next, uh, it belongs to suit one test case. So here we can mention next uh, next uh, this is a test case name here we have added asset statement so for example we can refer this test case so here we have given the values for variable and uh, after make the operation uh, if the condition um, met it will get into this block else it will get into else block so currently it will get into else block so the test case is going to get fail now so let's compare it next uh, successfully it's compiled uh, let's go to test explorer so here we need to click on Turn all the tests. So it successfully run. So let's go to Windows PowerShell. Here we need to uh, alert serve. Then alert results folder path we have given. So based upon alert results folder, the report will be generated. So the report is going to generate now. It's generated. So here we have the output suit one test cases out of three, two pass, one fail. So here the assertion state also the result also given expected four, but we have three. Next, so here a tag C we have given, so it's reflecting. Uh, next uh, severity level what we have given so based upon our requirement we can customize it next uh, bucket ID what we have given if you want to refer the previous bug then we have we can give it here the next uh, the DB external system we can integrate our report then suit to only one contain only one test case it's got failed so condition is not met that's why it got into else block so now we will make it as pass further to let's change it as a 30 so the condition will get true so it will get into if block so the our test case will get pass let's recompile it so successfully compiled then we will run it again so our uh, script is successfully run out of four three passes one failed 
so let's run our uh, report now so let us serve then the download results folder path we have given let's wait for the report generate so suit number two test case card pass so likewise we can uh, give the report so I'd like to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.